So Jeff Passan revealed something that Tim Kirchner would have gone the rest of his life without ever telling me about. But for some reason, he must have whispered it to Passan uh, and complaining secretly. So uh, Passan, tell the people again, please, as we bring in Tim Kirchner and gift giving Allison Turner. Tell the people again uh, what it is that Kirchner told you during the playoffs. I just want to make sure to say that there was no complaint about this at all because Tim Kirchin is the best and he wouldn't dare complain. But he and I both share a love for Diet Mountain Dew. And when we were talking about Diet Mountain Dew uh, this year, he revealed that the refrigerator that you guys sent him as a wonderful gift happens to have an extraordinarily loud motor and that it needs to be unplugged for uh, when he goes on TV. That's him complaining, Jeff. It really is. Yeah. It's him. Uh, it's him being ungrateful. It's not him complaining and him being angry. No, no, yes, we've had a problem with his anger. About around how, stating facts about how how a, a good gesture went wrong. That happens in life. All right. So Kirkshen come uh, comes on with us now. And how do you feel about everything being revealed publicly here? Uh, and how apologetic should uh, the show and Allison be for this uh, intrusion on your life? Well, I'm never speaking to Jeff Passan again. Because I told him not to tell anybody about this, but and I didn't volunteer this. It came up kind of naturally, organically, and I did indeed explain that my mini fridge that has Diet Mountain Dew written all over it, and not to mention the likenesses of me and you and the show, sounds like a lawnmower, and I can't use it. I have to unplug it every time I do a live shot from my office because... It sounds like there's a weed whacker in the room. So I've had to unplug it, but I did not complain about it. I did not report it because you guys sent it to me as a gesture of good faith. Nobody would call back and say, thanks for it, but it doesn't work. Send me another one. I would never do that. I will never do that. But that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, you use it still? I'm not doing that. <laughs> you guys called me because Jeff Passon gave me up in this. I have nothing to do with this. I don't want another refrigerator because you were kind enough to send me one. I'm not going to complain about well, it. Well, we should send you a working one that doesn't sound like a lawnmower. Allison, explain uh, yourself and explain on behalf of the show how mortified you are right now. I'm mortified. I had no idea that it was loud. <laughs> And we'll make sure to get it out of your house and send you a working one. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is really not necessary. And anyone who's any good at these things probably figured out how to make the, the noise go away, fix the motor. But as we know, I, I can't fix anything. I tried to blow up my basketball today because it was a little low. And the the pin went into the basketball, and now it's completely flat. Ah. I have to go buy another one because I can't <laughs> even pump up a basketball. And so there's no chance that I can fix a motor inside a mini fridge. How soon did this machine start making this noise after it got into your house? I would say a matter of days, not even a week. Oh, and man. Allison! I'm, I kept I'm it horrified. on what because do you want me to it was. Say? How am I supposed to know that the refrigerator was making noise? <laughs> Why do we send people cheap, awful gifts to get into their house and become lawnmower sounds that interrupt their ability to do their job? It was so thoughtful, and everything's gone to feces. This, this is so bad. I can't believe I'm a part of this. I'm sorry, but you called me. I answered the question like I always try to do. Tim, don't be sorry. We're sorry, Yes, Tim. we're sorry, <laughs> Allison. Sorry. Stu Gatz is not sorry at all. Stu Gatz had no idea that anybody sent anything Everyone to Everyone owes me money. And has been writing me notes the entire segment. Why isn't he thanking me? That's all <laughs> Stu Gatz has been writing me. Thank you, and uh, I'm really sorry, Tim. And uh, Allison, uh, your punishment is you got to move to Bristol.